Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to the special day today. We're running a little bit late. It's hard to have the video finished by 3 o'clock but we're running late today. But anyway, I'm here. The most censored channel on YouTube. But they still won't take it down. No, no. As we count down to the closing down party coming soon on YT. The Grim Reaper will be going down. And I'll be taking a few people down with me. And today we're going to take down six... We're going to take down six worst humans on the planet Earth. So enjoy the show today. Freezing cold out there, for the weather. And since they sprayed the sky massively on, let's say, Tuesday and Wednesday, now we have all this hurricane and storms. And the heating is on. The gas company's making loads of money. But we'll say nothing about that. And keep an eye on the comets. Nothing on the television about it. Sure, why would they do that? You might learn something. No, we'll stick with the Silicon 19 rubbish. Saturday to 23rd of May today. Yeah. They didn't like the video yesterday, Scumtube. 67 views after 19 hours. They don't want you to know about the airplanes giving you cancer. Sure you don't, Google. Evil scum. Day 65, 97 views. Day 60, 97 views. Day 61, 98 views. Day 59, 90 views. So, Google, I wouldn't say Fox News like XTV, or ABC News, or Channel 4 News, or Sky News, BBC News, or Rebel News, or Wyon News in India, or Fox Australia, etc, etc, etc. And today, Paulie is the troll, and well done, Joe Rogan, moving to Spotify. Congratulations. And everyone should get away from the sick perverts at YT. Tick, tock, tick, tock. Hope you're enjoying virtual TV today, because it's there for a reason. That's right. You never know what you're going to get. Today, we'll expose my top six evil jackasses that shouldn't be on the planet. And this week, we have number one, AK-47 himself, Tony the Murder Houlihan. And was born in Dublin and grew up in Limerick. And was educated down there in Limerick. In a Christian Brothers school. That's right. In Sexton Street in Limerick. He wanted to be a clown in the circus. But ended up being the spokesperson for the Ministry of Health. His hobby is giving women cancer. Don't say that, Polly. Yes, giving women cancer. And you can find all this out on Google. Houlihan has a role in cervical check cancer scandal, by the way. One day after a lady called Ficky Phelan publicly criticised cervical check outside the High Court. Houlihan advised in an email dated on the 26th of April 2018 against any external review of the cancer screening programme, instead asking the Minister of Health, Simon de Muppa Harris, to go for a report repaired by Houlihan himself. Houlihan told Harris an appropriate way forward was to state that you have asked me to provide a report on the matter including whether further actions or steps are required. I strongly advise that you do not commit to a review of cervical check arising from the recent court case that to announce a review could unnecessarily undermine public confidence in cervical check. <coughs> Bullshit. When written by Houlihan, there was no evidence at this stage that there was any quality or patient safety concerns with the cervical check programme. And Harris, the little muppet, ignored Houlihan's advice because they're all connected in together. And he has his hand in so many deaths in Ireland from cervical cancer for women. It is absolutely unbelievable. His favourite movie, by the way, is The Holocaust. He loves watching that with his family. I think he's watched it six or seven times, but they wouldn't tell us when we asked them to come out and give us some sort of an interview. Number two is the baby, the scumbag Harris, or the Minister for Health. That's right. Simon, as he's known by his friends. The corrupt Harris, born in December 17th, 1986, is an Irish jackass that's in the government and has served as the Minister for Health since May 2016. And he's the minister in County Wicklow, just outside of Dublin, since 2011. And he served as the Minister of State at the Department of Finance from 2014 to 2016. 
Yeah, and he's another clown that didn't get into the circus and ends up being in, sorry, the other circus called the government. Now, the Minister for Health, for scumbags and health, and also he's behind thousands of cancer deaths since the 6th of May 2016. He's also sucked off Enda Kenny in 1 minute 34 seconds in the toilets in the government building in Dublin, just before he got promoted. And in 2020, after Silicon 19 is over, he will try to break his own record and try to suck off Leo Faradkar in 60 seconds, but wouldn't comment to XTV. Leo Faradkar said he can't wait for that. And the Minister for State of Ireland in May 2016, Brian Hayes, who was in the same toilet in the government building, was rushed to hospital with Harris. The two of them joined together and the doctors had to throw a bucket of ice cold water over the two of them to release them both. True story, ladies and gentlemen. True story, ladies and gentlemen. And that was the 17th of December. Yeah. Oh, by the way, he's aged 34, just in case you wanted to know who old he was. That's right. And he went to the Dublin Institute of Technology. That's right. And you can go on and you can check him out. He has his own website as well. But go into uh, Google and you can check it all out. Anyway, he walked in the back benches. And he's the baby of the doll, the doll or the doyle, whatever you want to call it. He was promoted to the Minister of State for the Office of Public Works, Public Procurement and International Banking in 2014 and should be put up against the wall and asked do you have any final wishes today as your last resort he tweeted today the number of patients with silicon 19 in hospitals across ireland is thankfully continuing to fall because it's a hoax and this is down to you he says and your family and your community your efforts are keeping people well Keeping people out of hospitals and saving lives. Please keep up the public BS. Now we move on to dickhead number three. And the title Mass Murderer is Clown 2020. And he loves riding his bus at the WHO. Ladies and gentlemen, I give you Mick Ryan. Or to his mates in Africa, Mick the Prick. Michael Joseph Ryan, born in 1965, is an Irish former Muppet surgeon, specialises in killing thousands of men and children, but calls it infection disease and public health. He is an executive fool of the World Health Organization's Health Emergencies Programme, where he loves the attention of the television, and he says, I'd love to be an actor, but my wife won't let me laugh out loud. Yeah, Lord rest her. And from 2013 to 2017, Ryan walked in the Middle East as a senior murderer on polio eradication on black children and emergencies for the World Health Organization's global polio eradication, or the GPE. The goal was to kill as many blacks as possible from polio and the Pakistan and Afghanistan people who are next. He also hates he coordinated uh, operational and technical support to polio outbreak response activities in the region, which included Syria and Iraq in 2014. Director General Margaret Chan appointed Ryan to the WHO Advisory Group on the Ebola virus disease response, which was co-chaired by Sam Sarmbaba. You try saying that one. And during this time, he was based in Islamabad, Pakistan, at the National Emergency Operations Centre, or the NEOC, where he liaised with the government of Pakistan and is now on America's most wanted TV show. Mass murderer number four today is Dr. Vucci, whose wife calls him a sick weirdo for some reason, and he loves little boys. Description. Anthony Stephen Vucci is an American psycho and they made a movie about him called Psycho who had served as the director of wiping out humans with a needle or infectious disease laugh out loud since the year George Orwell's 1984. 
He was born in December 24, 1940. And should be in a retirement home with Silicon 19. And he's 80 years of age. From Brooklyn, New York, United States and America. He's walked alongside Mr. Ronald Reagan, George Bush, Bill Clinton, George Bush Sr., Barack Obama, Donald Trump. And is married with three children. That's right. He's the president of so many different companies. You'd actually have to ask the question, how does he get away with it? But he wouldn't come on record and come out and tell us when we tried to contact him at XTV. Now, he said he loves the idea of depopulation. Sick or what? Vucci is recognised as one of the world's worst experts on infectious diseases. As a psycho with the National Institute of Health, Vucci has killed more Americans than anyone. Over the last 50 years, he's been an advisor to every US president since Ronald Reagan. And he's made contributions to HIV, AIDS. That's right. Killing more men than you could shake a stick at. And he's known in the trade as the mad scientist. And you can check out NIAID or NIH. And he's been there since 1983 to 2002. And he's one of the world's messed up scientists. All manufactured from the Gates dollar. And when we asked him, do you feel bad killing so many people? He said, go fuck yourself. <clears throat> no wonder why T censor you, Polly. Well, same to you. <clears throat> anyway, number five. And Mr. Genocide himself. If he could kill everyone on the planet except the rich and the famous and his family, he would. Yes, Mr. Facts, everyone. That's right. Don't answer the hall door. It could be the gates of hell and the army. That's right. And as a child, he had Adolf posters and gas chambers posters all over his bedroom walls. He even has a swastika tattooed on the right side of his arse. That's right, I'll give you Satan. Gates. Or Bill to his wife. Another evil bitch. Like Sue. The horse jockey. Anyway. Second last on our list. Well. William Henry Gates. An American business magnate. Software developer investor. Yeah. He is best known for giving out his money to everybody. And he's the co-founder of Floppy Soft. Or we call it something else. And he also owns the ice cream company called Mr. Softy. As his wife calls him Gates. His position at the moment is uh, chairman of the ice cream company. CEO, president, chief software architect, blah, blah, blah. In 2014, now he's known as Mr. Whippy. Except his 99s don't come with a flake. No, no. Mr. Whippy does the shake and vax and puts the freshness back into your arm. Yeah, He's not a screwball for nothing and has killed more people than his idol, Adolf. And the next time you hear the ice cream van, S-C-R-E-A-M, the ice cream van, run! Run the other way. Yeah. Anyway, he's one of the best known murderers of the 1970s, the 1980s, the 1990s. 2000s, 2010s, up to today. Mr. Whippy. Now he just kills people for a laugh and pretends he knows nothing when he's interviewed. The second most hated person on the planet and hard luck, Bill. Now we're into the last minute. The moment you're all waiting for. The biggest bully in the world. Worse than you other five put together. Now it's number six. Don't adjust your television, ladies and gentlemen. No, no. It's the only one on the list with four legs. The most ugliest dog on our list today, unfortunately. Unfortunately. And in September 1998, the same month that Goo was incorporated, the owners ran over the dog by mistake. When she woke up in the vets, she could speak English. Now she's in charge of Goo Goo's YT and is hated. Her name is Sue. 
I hope you enjoyed the six. Yeah, love yous and leave yous. Have to go.